We're going to talk a little bit about depth of field, specifically shallow depth of field, and how you can use it to make your pictures a little bit better and pop a little bit more. The way to achieve a shallow depth of field, most of it is in the lens. You're looking at 2.8 lenses, 17 to 35, 2.8, 70 to 200, 2.8, a 300, 2.8 if you're doing a lot of sports, or a 400, 2.8 if you do lots and lots of sports. Other lenses that give you that shallow depth of field are some are like considered good portrait lenses, like the 85, 1, 2. When I'm getting ready to shoot something and use the shallow depth of field, I make sure my aperture is around 2.8. In a portrait situation, you might be using something like a 1-2 aperture. The 1-2 will blow away whatever's behind that person entirely. 4-5 or a 5-6 aperture will give you that little bit of detail in the background that might add a little context to what the subject you're shooting is. The shallow depth of field also allows you to work around obstacles that might be in your way or behind you. For instance, at the Toronto Zoo right now, the pandas are there. The fence in front of the pandas is a black chain link fence. Because I'm shooting with a very shallow depth of field, the plane of focus is basically just on the bear. So the fence in the foreground is not a factor in the picture. Depth of field usually works best when there's a good distance between your subject and the background. The closer your subject is to a background, the more you're going to see of that background and the clearer it's going to be. So it always helps to have your subject closer to you than it is the background. Once you get comfortable with depth of field, you can start looking for backgrounds that will give you a little creative edge. Lights in the background shot with a shallow depth of field become large blurry orbs, which are very nice in a, in a portrait. If you don't have the pennies to get one of these kinds of lenses, a great lens would be a 51.8. Very cheap, and it'll give you that full effect of shooting with a shallow, shallow depth of field. For the Star.com, this is Steve Russell.